Hey everyone, after a super busy summer and spring and rushing straight from our spring semester to our summer semester, travel, camp, school, oh, just a lot of it, I really need a reset of our house, like just complete reset and redo some things before we start our fall semester in about three weeks. So we are taking two weeks off between our summer and fall semester. We took two weeks before our summer semester, one week off in the middle for camp. And so now we're fixing to go into our fall semester in, the, in three weeks. And I really don't wanna have to do a lot of cleaning because we only have those two weeks with the kids. So like, I really wanna spend this week while they're on their last week and they really don't need me right now because they're mostly doing online courses for the summer. And I just wanna take the time and just refresh and tidy things up and you can hear the dog barking because of course he barks when I pull the camera out but my goal is I'll do some talking with time lapses in between and just kind of show you some things that I really need to tackle before school starts back because even though like my kids are mostly independent with middle and high school work I still want the first two weeks to be like me being focused on them and what they need more than like me trying to clean while they're doing school because sometimes things don't always go as we plan. So I just kind of want to be there and just do that. So that's kind of my goal today. So uh, just follow along today as we do some tidying up and start uh, and cleaning up. And then Monday, we might also do a cleaning video, but more of like just time lapse of specifically cleaning back to school areas, talking about how we clean the Chromebooks in between semesters, stuff like that. But today's mostly just like for the house, what I need to be done for the house to keep the house caught up when we start our fall semester in August. Some big things I'm getting started with. Washing everybody's bath towels, washcloths, bathrobes, all of that. Getting caught up on their laundry that magically appeared in the laundry room after they only wore the same change of clothes all week at VBS. Still trying to figure that out. And keeping the dishes rotated. The first thing I actually need to work on is this closet. Let me turn that fan off for just a second. Yes, I said this closet. So I know that sounds crazy. I have all this laundry and dishes and stuff to do and bath towels and all that, but actually I need to do this closet first. So you can see right here, the kids swimwear from VBS. Yes, my kids need a swimwear for VBS. Is all, all their swimwear drying right there. I need to start working on this. One thing I like to do at the beginning of the fall semester is wash everybody's hoodies, uh, check coat sizes, hoodie sizes before the weather even starts to drop. And yeah, I know kids can outgrow hoodies within a day. One of my kids came back from camp and had outgrown all of her pants. So yay, that's fun. Um, but I do want to at least start going through the process and maybe start like cutting down on some of these because this is more than what they actually wear. But the big thing is when they came back from camp, we had bought some extra towels for some of them to take so that they weren't using like bath towels from at home for bath use because they needed one towel for showers and one towel for uh, lake water activities, not like beach swimming lake water activities. If you know, you know. And I need to rotate through these towels right here and I need to find a place for all of the new beach towels that all the, that we purchased for the kids and get those organized. Also, I'm kind of wanting to move like, that's all Christmas cookie stuff. I'm thinking of moving that. Those are Dollywood mugs. We don't even use Dollywood mugs anymore. So I'm thinking of moving that as well. Um, I wanna see how many pods are left in that decaf box. This is paper towel holder. I wanna keep it, but we're not even using paper towels right now because they're expensive. So like, I wanna go through all this and like, Another thing I want to do is I want to go through these boxes. It's our Keurig filters, our Brita filters, and our Pure filters. Uh, over 2020, Pure filters went out of stock for several months. So we brought a Brita filter or pitcher and filter from Amazon. And we've also found that like with a family of six, it's really handy to have two pitchers. I don't like the ones on the faucet because if people forget, then you're wasting drinking water on washing dishes. So like I want to have them as pitchers and have them separate and it helps to have two of them, especially like when one's getting uh, thoroughly washed and getting a new filter put in, the other one is still being able to use for drinking water until that one's finished. So I, I wanna go through all of that, check and see what I need and start making a shopping list. What I'll end up doing is making one big massive shopping list and then breaking it down to individual needs that we need as we go. So that's kind of my goal initially right now um, is just this closet needs done. Also, I'm gonna take all these hangers out, take some of the broken hangers that end up broken when nobody does it, but take all the broken hangers out, take all the hangers out and just put them on the couch as I do laundry today and filter through uh, getting clothes hung up. And what I do is 
I wash, well, sometimes, sometimes the kids will actually take turns rotating the washer and dryer, but usually I'm, I do the folding just because each person's laundry folds differently, it seems like. Um, so I do a lot of the folding, but they're responsible for putting their own clothes away and hanging their own clothes. But if I go ahead and have these in the living room while I'm going through it, they can just grab them from in there. And then that way in between loads, I can work on this. later and I'm basically just moving on to the kitchen shredding boxes from the grits that I took all the grits and put them in a spare basket like we normally do with the oatmeal and I would have put it in the oatmeal's basket but I ended up buying a big pack of protein bars from Sam's Club on one of the weeks that I wasn't doing grocery haul videos because it was a busy week yeah so like that's still full and has the flaxseed for the oatmeal so I don't know what I'm thinking of doing is um, once it cools off enough to where the kids will want oatmeal again, I'm just going to take this and as it gets empty, we'll buy like one or two boxes of oatmeal and then the next time we'll buy one or two boxes of grits and keep it interchanged and then that way the kids can just decide on their own what they want to do for breakfast and be a little more self-sufficient with their breakfast because my goal for this upcoming year is I have two rising 11th graders that are going to missions college in two years. I kind of want them to be a little more independent with some nudge under the safety and protection of our home and learn how to do it that way. So that's kind of what my goal is for this year is that maybe with three high schoolers, one middle schooler, try to make them a little more independent with their breakfasts. 
my brain's kind of having an ADHD moment. So I really do want to finish doing this pantry really quick. The only reason I really started is because I found that basket and I needed that basket to do it. And my camera looks blurry. I need to get a, a normal non GoPro camera because I don't like using a GoPro all the time because it's more than normal vlog cameras. So um, I'm wanting to finish the cabinet, but I only honestly did that because that basket was available. What I really want to do right now is something that is more just like a just me thing probably but because we don't use fabric softener we use like vinegar with the essential oils that works fine we don't use fabric softener just for reasons but i found that like our gowns are starting to fill our cotton ones that we've had for a while are starting to get a little scratchy and i don't have the money to replace all of them because goodness the gowns and the pajamas on amazon it's like 20 to 40 bucks a person right now for one and i'm like no nah, it's not in my budget for six people well matt doesn't need them the girls and i do so what i'm gonna do is a trick that i learned with crochet where you soak uh clean items in hot water and conditioner you rinse it thoroughly and wash it like normal and like you i guess technically you're washing it twice but like it makes it softer so i'm gonna try that with the pajamas and let them soak while i do the food cabinet and try to get them going but first i need to clean my tub and then i can do that and then i can do the food pantry while the kids are outside and have finished school for the day So I think I said it wrong. I think I said I was going to run it through a full cycle. I'm not. I They were all clean before. What I did was, I, it was, would have been really hard to do on camera. Um, you add the conditioner until the clothes feel soft to the touch in the water, like enough conditioner to do that. I used a brand new bottle from the kids' bathroom because they had more than I did. And they still have like two full bottles left or two half bottles left from camp that they're working through right now. Um, so you just add it and you kind of squish it in there. You can still see some clumps of conditioner. I didn't get the water quite as warm as I wanted because I have a second towel, a second load of towels running right now. And towels are the only thing we wash on warm water. So what I'm going to do is once uh, I need to do one more load of towels because Matt is out of towels and he's uh, going to be heading home from work in the next couple hours. Uh, I want to get his towels going and that'll give those even longer to soak. So I'm going to leave them in here until I can get that next load of towels through. And then once that next load of towels goes into the dryer, um, I will probably just squeeze these out, take them. Well, actually I may rinse them a little bit with warm water in here because I don't want the conditioner in my washer, which is again, why, the goal why you do it this way. Um, so I'm going to rinse them in here, put them in a bucket, carry them to the laundry room and then do a rinse cycle or a speed wash, but not add soap in there. Cause the soap would just wash the conditioner back up. Um, but I'm going to run it through that, but this way, like it'll just soften up a little bit. I actually couldn't find one of mine and most of Izzy's are in the dirty clothes, but, uh, I did find when I was in the other ones that like, we still need to do a load of this in pink maybe tomorrow. So we'll look at doing that tomorrow, but for now this will do like all of this and I won't get everything done in one video that I'm going to do to prep before back to school. I'm just trying to highlight some specific areas and show some things that I haven't shown before. Like I usually show cleaning our school corner. I usually show like we do our windows twice a year, you know, stuff like that. I want to show some things that are a little bit different so that you can see something new and something from a different perspective. But yeah, this is something new that I started doing with the uh, crochet where I would run it through here with uh, conditioner. So yeah, I'll, and you can see from the water, like it's, it's mixed in there. So I'll rinse it in here and then take it to the washer and then run a cycle um, through there as well. And also that will also spin it out because I don't like having to wring out my clothes. I've washed clothes in this tub before when we didn't have a washer for two months and it's not fun and it's not easy. So I don't like doing it that way unless I absolutely have to. Um, but for something like this, it's not as bad and it's only going to be like once every couple months that I'll need to do this. If, and if, if even that, some of these pajamas they've had for years. So like now we're just kind of giving them a, a little boost. So like I said, while those soak, I am gonna work on this cabinet. We recently bought more bowls for in here. So I recently just did this top cabinet. I'm gonna do, not going to do it again. Kids coming in and the dog's gonna bark. Um, this is breakfast shelf. I need to go through here. And what I'm gonna do is just take my phone high and start putting down a list of things that we want food for fall. We already know we need instant oatmeal, peanut butter, jelly. Do we need jelly? No. I think we need jelly. So we need jelly. Uh, and this is mostly like home canned stuff with a couple of stuff that people are gifted to us. I need to go through the vegetables and resort them and re-separate out like the beans in one part, vegetables in the other. 
and then I'm gonna need to start clearing room for like mac and cheese and soups and you know warm foods again for the fall time I also know so if you go over here like our fridge is right here we have this little side shelf that we have that has like a lot of our like dry goods so I already know like I need to go through the pasta to see if we need more we don't need any more corn muffin mix and those were all gifted to us but like we're almost out of ramen and that's still like an emergency food that we like having on hand um also if somebody's sick and we're out of soup then um we can use ramen instead but also like I need to use these sweet potatoes I need to get a stock of like what flowers and stuff so I do freeze flour when we're stocking up because uh, they can get bugs in them if you don't and I only like keep one bags worth in the containers that, are, that holds only one bag right when y'all fill these it's only one bag I, it's been a while since I filled them because y'all usually one and a half bags they really like filling these so normally I just let them do it um, and then usually if we get it from the freezer we kind of let it set for a while so you don't get condensation in there um, or sometimes we just fill it straight in the sugar there's a bag back there probably just needs to be put in a ziploc that's another way you can do it is just put it in ziploc and we may do that instead these are also bulk foods I don't want to get into that it's there I also want to look at maybe getting another bag of rice before winter and then also through August, September, and October is when we restock our food completely in our house. So I know I need to refill this with meals. Like there's parts of meals in here like meats or vegetables or breads that go with nothing. So I need to relook at this and restock it as my washer is going to be really loud because it has towels in it. I really need to restock this with meals like and I usually my goal is always to have like a week of meals like breakfast lunch dinner in here and between here and the other freezer and mostly keep just like ready to make meal prep stuff for the meals that we are planning on eating and then have seven meal seven days of emergency meals in here so that's kind of where we are I need to refill that though but I'm not going to even start that until after um august so that's kind of where we are but i do need to rearrange this again and make a list see what we need and just add things to our list and restock as we go